an entrepreneur in the modern world is somebody who's very effective at building teams and helping teams be effective at creating value. Within a, a change maker school, students are very often working in teams. There's often a very strong project-based approach uh, to learning where uh, teams will be formed often at the instigation of young people. So young people are invited to create their own teams, to define the t their own objectives for the teams. And the teacher then plays much more of a facilitation role in that process, not so much teaching uh, teams or young people, but helping teams be more effective at reaching their objectives. The classical idea of an entrepreneur, who I think often is the hero entrepreneur, somebody with a strong ego, it requires them to put that ego to one side, to recognize their own limitations, to recognize the strengths in other people, and to therefore not necessarily always lead, but be equally prepared to be led by other people in the team towards that common objective, which must be about value creation. I think there's clear evidence that many of the most effective entrepreneurial teams are teams in which there is a strong diversity um, of people, uh, of diversity of skills, diversity of backgrounds and experiences, obviously gender diversity and ethnic diversity. Um, but that idea that the entrepreneur recognises the value in diversity um, is, I think, a very important factor, particularly in the modern world, which is a globalised world. I think fostering that ability is often achieved through having joint projects where young people are evaluated as teams, so the success of young people is not entirely um, and in the, the success of the individual but is uh, judged as part of the team where that um, team therefore has a shared objective where that objective is conceived by the team so it's not imposed on the team therefore the team has real ownership of that objective and where the team is equally accountable to each other and is discussing with each other how they are doing as a team and as individuals in that team. So again, where the assessment is not coming in from the outside in a hierarchical way, but is an assessment founded in shared accountability, founded in trust in that team.